Hello, and welcome to Knowledge Bar. My name is Jerry, and I'm going to be your knowledge expert in how to adjust the trim on RC helicopter. Now, you're really looking forward to getting this thing to work correctly, and it is important to read the instructions. Now, you'll notice that the instructions are written mostly in, well, in Mandarin. Mandarin, yes, not Cantonese. Cantonese is normally something that you would associate with Hong Kong, and a lot of this stuff is now mainland produced. Now, if it was Cantonese, that would be kind of like uh, made in Hong Kong and what you normally hear in the United States, but I digress. No, I'm not Chinese, I'm just well read. Alright, trim control basically is to keep the helicopter in a stable position in order to respond to the commands that you send it correctly. So, when you look at the remote control, this one is an infrared, kind of like a flashlight beam, so you have to make sure that you aim it at the helicopter at all times and be careful of fluorescent lighting. You've got your throttle, you got your pitch, and you got your uh, control here, this is the trim control. So, I recommend you set the helicopter up after you have it turned on and charged. You put it on a smooth surface because if you set it up on the carpet, it'll uh, have too much friction and you won't be able to make the adjustments. You power up, you apply a little juice, and you'll notice that it spins, you're going to make the adjustment on your control to counterbalance that automatic spin rotation that you don't want. You don't want it to spin all the way around, you want it to stop like so, and then, actually flying the helicopter takes practice. And that's all there is for uh, trim adjustment. All right, if you have any more questions, come on into Micro Center. We would certainly want to spend time playing with one of these than doing the usual, my computer is running slow and I can't get on the internet anymore, type questions I normally deal with. Joy Jen, bye bye.